What's up, guys? You guys are uh, watching Miller Time Motorsports. Uh, we're Dirt Meets Rubber. And today we're out in the shop again, put on the old race car. We're on a little stuff. It's raining out. It's not too cold today. It's like 42 or something. Um, we're, we, we live in Indiana where it's like, literally yesterday it was like 12 degrees and now it's, it's pouring down rain and it's almost 50. So... You never know what kind of weather we're going to get. So I got the day off and we're going to work on the car a little bit. I figured I'd sit here and talk about some stuff with you guys. Uh, today I'm kind of just, I've been doing more and more research on setups and whatnot. So I'm going to try to figure some things out, look over some stuff, get some measurements, uh, trying to figure out what tires I'm going to be running. I'm just all kinds of little stuff. Just, I'm going to, Pull around and see what we do in the shop today, and I'll take you guys along with us. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get into today. In case you guys are wondering what we're spitting in today, uh, we got the Lucas Oil Flavor uh, ADW90 Gear Oil Container. It's pretty much empty. It's I found it with the lid off, so there you go. Guys, before we get real started on the car today, I just want to talk a little bit about these videos we're making and what we plan on doing and everything. And uh, so pretty much, you guys know, uh, if you guys follow my my YouTube, you probably hunt, you probably watch Hunt the Front, uh, all them guys, the, the the minor boys, all the all the big racers. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of like. Um, Sprint car YouTube YouTubers out there. There's a lot of um, super stocks, super or not super stocks, super late models, late models and whatnot. And there's just not a whole lot of this right here. A bomber, pure stock, hobby stock, all that. And I, I've always went. I, I never got into race until recently because I never had the money. And I always, my old man always took me to the races and. I just always wanted to get in a car so bad. He raced when he was my age, about in high school. He had same situation as me, he just didn't have the money. He he wanted to race so bad. He had a, a pretty well junk car with a little stock 350 in it. He ran a couple laps at Paragon, and then he just couldn't compete, and he knew that he just didn't have the money, so he got out of it. But uh, yeah, so he always brought me the races because he loves it just as much as I do. He just never has time or money like that. Then here recently I've had a little bit more money from working and the National Guard. <laughs> Most of my race cars have come from uh, my bonus check from the Army, which is probably not a good idea. But yeah, that's where I, I don't have my bonus anymore in case you didn't realize uh, I spent it all. But all almost $20,000. But anyway, still, still only raced one race. But I got into this and I just don't have as much money as a lot of the guys do. They're racing and... I wanted to build my own car. You see in my first couple of videos, I was building that red car. I was attempting to, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing whatsoever. And I kept trying to find all the help, as much help as I can. I got on YouTube, trying to find these pages to help, and uh, just couldn't find a whole lot. There's no one, 
that races these hobby stocks really that um there's just no big youtube pages so i i, I just kind of thought i just want to make a page and share what i do like I, I don't know a whole lot about what i'm doing but i'm learning every day and i there was no help for me at all so i just figured i could show you guys what i do show you how i mess things up how i learn how we get going and uh hopefully i can help some people out i actually got a message on facebook if you're watching this video it's you about some guy he messaged me i had my car for sale and he hit me up he told me he loved the videos and whatnot and He's going through the same thing I am. He's getting into racing. He's building a car. And he told me that uh, my videos were actually really informative and helped him a lot. And that was just awesome because that's exactly what I wanted to do because there's just not a whole lot about these things. And a lot of, I also figured out nobody wants to give up their secrets either. So there's not a whole lot of information. So I'm going to try to start out just i'm gonna help you guys out with what i do with setups and just try to figure things out um all the things i'm gonna be doing are probably gonna be wrong you guys are gonna laugh at me but i'll try to do as much as i can and yeah like i said there's just no youtubers about the hobby stocks and whatnot uh a couple of them that i like to watch uh he one one, one of the bigger ones is um old number seven garage tim nash racing he is in a modified, but a lot of his videos have been really informative to me. And I, if, if you haven't, go watch him. He is pretty cool. He races a modified. He gets into the go-karts and whatnot. But, um, yeah, he's pretty cool. I've been watching him a lot. Obviously, on the front in that. I mentioned that. A couple others, uh, little pure stock YouTubers out there. Uh, there's one guy. He's younger. I like his videos a lot. Go follow, uh, I think it's Gavin Jordan. They've got a light model, and he's got a hobby stock that he races. He's a he's a new he's hasn't been YouTubing very long, I don't think, and he's he's another small one that he's got a lot of cool videos. The uh, three zero racing, he's not huge. He's been YouTubing for a while now. He, you guys might have seen him. He uh, he's got a hobby stock. He's building a a thunder car and all that so yeah and also in. i know this guy watches our youtube videos um i think it's uh, i'll i'm probably messing all these names up i'll put them right here i don't really know how to put them up here i'll put them right here in the middle but uh the high desert life he's pretty cool he's got a he's got a whatever he got pure stock whatever these whatever you want to call a car he's got a stock car he does a lot of snowmobile videos and stuff he's pretty cool so follow him and yeah and uh yeah and if uh in the comments, always talk talk to me in the comments. Leave something down. Uh, if you ever have any questions, hit me up, and I'll help you as much as I can. I can't promise I'll help. And you guys helping, too. Like, uh, my last video, I was talking about my bumper here. And there's a guy that commented and told me about this company that um, I'll put what they're called right here, because I forgot what they're called. But that makes these bumpers. It's a fab shop. They build cages and whatnot. And... I think that's where I'm going to go to. He, he let me know who he was. And they make bumpers that I'd like to buy. So I think I'm going to buy one of their bumpers. And so, yeah, just always leave a comment. And I think that's about it. I'll quit talking for a little bit. And uh, we'll get going and see what we can figure out today. All right, guys. So this is a predicament, man. I'm trying to figure out uh, tires here and what I'm going to run this season, my plans. And so this is what he's got on the guy I bought off of. This is how I bought it. This is the, the tires that are on it now. I don't know if these were just what he's putting on to roll around or this is what he's planning to race, but this is what we got. So this tire here, I'm pretty sure there's two different styles that I've seen. I think this is the older tread. They don't use much anymore. Or I, I, don't, I don't know. There, there's that tread. And then over here on this side, both of these have this tread, the different ones. And, um, so this tire is a M30S, I believe. Yeah, it's an M30S. This tire is the same tread, but it's a M60. We go over here, the other side. These tires are, that's an A40, and that's an A40S. 
That's something I don't understand what the S is. I try to do research on tires. I can't find anything. That's that's an S. It's the only difference. That's an S. And I figured out the the one race I did race in the black car. At the end of the feature, I started pushing real bad. And my second cousin, he messaged me. He's big into these. And he told me that the reason I started pushing toward the end is because I was running the wrong tires. So I'm trying to figure that out and figure out what what is a soft tire, what is a hard tire. And if I even want this, this tread of tire and what I want to run. And something else is the rear, both rears are 27 and a half inch tires. Both fronts are 26 and a half inch tires. I've seen that people run a smaller tire on the left front, but they're both smaller. So I'm not sure. It's just more stuff I got to figure out. So and back, back space and all that, that stuff I don't understand one bit. So I'm going to try to figure that out. And yeah, I got that out of the way. I was just going to measure tires. I'm going to see what spares I have. I'm going to go to the barn and uh, see what other tires I might have to see what, you know, I don't know. So yeah, that's what I've got done so far. We'll see what else we get into. All right, guys, I just went out and I inventoried all my tires. I got a little sidetracked, but I have... Four M30s's, three A40s, two A40s. All, all these tires, I don't even know what an H. Is. Yeah, and I don't know what any of the tire compounds are whatsoever. I'll probably just go into a Hoosier dealer and I'll I'll figure it out there. But um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull these tires and wheels off, and I'm gonna see what offsets these are too. I can't really. I don't know. I'm going to see what they're doing, see if there's any spacers up here. I think there's a spacer on that one. And I'm just going to look over everything. It might, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to just take a look over everything and see what I can get into. Yep. So that one has a spacer on it. And um, I don't think that's some big secret because my last car had one too. And yeah, that one's got a spacer and we're going to measure this here. I believe this is how you tell back spacer. <laughs> Shoot, I don't know. So that's a... I don't freaking know. <laughs> I'm gonna measure and try to see. Look underneath here. I knew all this was loose, like the shock mounts and everything, but look at, you do alignment on it still. Look at that, it's just nothing at all. No pressure at all. So yeah, that's all gonna get tightened up and uh, try to figure out alignment. I'll make a video about that. Whenever I do do an alignment on it, I'll make a video and just make that a whole thing. So we'll, we'll get into that another time. All right guys, so I was just looking at my spring rates here. They're all brand new um from true coil is the brand and this is what i understand so far and it, uh, what the spring rates are on it makes sense so your your rear is normally in like 150 to 250 it's like it, it, they're a lot lower in the front the front's close to a thousand it's around a thousand or i don't some people go higher i think from what I've, i understand uh on both springs they're they're heavier they're more like a thousand the rears are like around 200 and what I've seen so far, this is, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but you want a lighter spring on, on the rear end. We'll just go to the rear end. So on the right rear, you want a lighter spring than the left rear by a little bit. And on the right, uh, on the front, you want a heavier spring on the right and a lighter spring on the left. That is what I've, I, I believe I said that right, but that's pretty much what I've understood what I've came up with and um, it's true in this car. So that gives me a little bit of confidence. So I figured that out. That's what this car's got. So yeah, figured that out. Now can't really think of anything else to do. I was looking at wheels, tires, uh, been doing research all day, trying to figure things out and I guess I can actually work on something. We'll see here. Maybe I can wire that tack or battery box needs worked on. Anyway, we're going to, we're going to get to work on something. So, uh, Keep you guys updated. Well, guys, uh, I went over here to put this here battery holder finger in place, and the the studs I have are not long enough, or whatever you call them, off red or whatever it is, and not long enough. And I have like two sets of those somewhere here, and I cannot find them. So hopefully I find them, and hopefully they're long enough. So we'll see. Somebody needs to hurry up and buy this car because I keep robbing parts off, but pretty soon it's gonna be nothing. 
those sure as hell didn't work either. They were very, very, very close, but looks like I'm about to do some modifications. Uh, we're gonna do some cutting and we'll make it work. I need to remember this is a way nicer car than I've ever had and I don't need to be doing stupid stuff to where I'm gonna cut all kinds of stuff into that. I'm just gonna use these holes. I'm gonna buy bigger ones like a responsible person. Okay, let's move on to something else. Well, I lied to you. I told you I was going to be working on the car some more. I really didn't work on anything. I mean, I just, I put it around today. Didn't get a whole lot done. And yeah, I can't even wire the tack. I need a connector to, uh, or, um, to put in the distributor. The... Anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna, not gonna work on anything else anymore, I guess. I need a, and I was even going to do the eight pillars. I was like, well, I'd like to buy paint. And so anyway, I promise this is the last video I'm going to make where we don't do anything. I'm going to, I get paid tomorrow. So I'm going to be ordering parts today or tomorrow and we're not gonna make a video until we have enough parts to actually work on something. So we'll do that. And this will just be kind of a uh, talking video, I guess. I talked a lot and yeah, I guess that's about it. Go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll call this a video. So like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will respond to it. I promise I will. And um, have any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, follow our Instagram. Please, please follow our Instagram. Uh, I, we've got a couple more followers after the last video. Let's just keep going. We're going to start posting a lot on the Instagram. So that'll be pretty sweet. And other than that, Casey, I'll be posting. He, he just said his video finally. He'll be posting tonight. And yeah, that's uh that's just about it for me. Um Yeah, we're gonna get going. Like I say every time, we're gonna keep working on this thing. I promise we're gonna actually get to do something, get stuff done in the next video. I'm going to be buying parts and maybe we can do alignment on it. And so yeah, no more excuses. This is the last last boring we're not last boring video where we don't get anything done. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video, I suppose. Uh we'll see ya.